Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another garden video. So if you caught my purple lily, purple dream lily planting video earlier this year, you know that I am a huge fan of lilies, but especially stargazer lilies. These were my wedding flower. I also had my beautiful cat named Lily, um, named after these because they are my favorite flower. And I have several lilies everywhere these white tags are planted in this bed already. Both stargazer lilies that came up last year and the new purple drain lilies. So I don't need any more lilies. I have plenty, but when I found these at Walmart for $5.42 for four bulbs, which is a good price, that is 70 cents a bulb, I just couldn't pass it up. So I bought five of them. I wanted to put a few more on this side of the bed and a few on the other side as well. This area back here, I kind of split between lily bulbs and uh, foxgloves because foxglove are a spring plant. So those will come up first and lilies are a spring flower. So the foxglove will come up, have a beautiful spring show. You do have to plant those almost every year because they are a biannual. And then the lilies will come up in the summer and they will kind of take turns. Um, it's a nice mix without a lot of effort. So we're gonna go ahead. I'm going to plant four to a hole so that we have a, a good mixture in one spot and then we'll go to the other side and plant those. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and plant some lilies right here. We actually planted some drumstick alliums here already. So if we find any of those, set them aside and then kind of redistribute them. But there should only be one or two of those over here. So I'm not too worried. So we want our hole here to be four to six inches deep. And since we're putting four bulbs in, we need about four bulbs with the space. You can always use your auger, makes it a lot easier but uh, spaces like this where I know I've already planted other bulbs, I make sure to use a hand shovel because the auger would have destroyed this guy. And it's starting to rain, which is good. I'm just trying to get all these bulbs in before it rains so they can benefit from the rain. Four to six inches down. Here's our bulb. Top end, bottom end. Snug it in with the roots down. We'll put all four bulbs in. All 
Oh, this one has a shoot already. That is very promising. It's always a good sign. When you are planting things in the spring, ideally we would have planted these in the fall so that they could have grown all winter, but they were much more expensive in the fall. Now we're gonna cover these over with our soil. Perfect. And our drumstick allium, it only goes one to two inches in, so we'll put him in the middle, in the top not half as deep, cover him over. They'll all grow together. One big happy family of bulbs. Drumstick allium should come up first and then the lilies later in the season. Let's go ahead and we'll do our other two sets here and our mix with the dream lilies and then I'll give you an overview. All right, so we got everything planted. You can see we planted one, two, three today. And they are in a triangle pattern. Now, around the tulips. <laughs> Over here, we have one, two of the purple dream lilies and more stargazer lilies. So this side of the garden doesn't have as many lilies as the other side, but we're working on it, which is why we added three sets of stargazer lilies here and only uh, two on the other side. So we'll get there. And then we've got to get this. Look at our tulips getting ready to bloom. How exciting is that? The elusive igloo planter. This is what I use to bring ice to mom to put ice on her peonies because her ice maker is broken. Okay. It's not here for fun. And on the other side, we have more uh, lilies. So stargazer, 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 stargazer. And then one, two, three of the purple dream. So all sprinkled in throughout here. It should be a really pretty mix this summer. And several of the spots when I was digging just now, I found lily bulbs with roots and shoots coming up that did not grow last year. See these here are stargazer lily plants that actually grew and bloomed for us last year in their first year. But I planted three sets and only two grew. I found the third set when I was planting right now. It did not mark them last year. That was my first mistake. So the ones that I found did have roots and shoots. So just because they didn't grow and bloom for us last year, they're bulbs. Hopefully they will grow for us this year. But stargazer, stargazer, stargazer so that's three across the front here then we've got a purple dream a purple dream a stargazer and a purple dream so ideally they will all grow up and intermingle and of course lily bulbs um lily bulbs multiply the longer they are in the ground so just because we've only planted four in a hole in a couple years we'll have more than four so just gonna keep adding them as we find them at good prices 
and sooner or later we will have enough that we won't need to add any anymore. But it has been a day. It is going to rain hard any minute now. It is coming down more and more. So I'm gonna go inside where it's dry. I'm gonna leave the bulbs to get some water. And I will be back for my February garden tour soon because we've got lots of stuff going on. Bye y'all. Say bye, Biddy. <laughs> she likes the rain. <laughs>